Traders, welcome back to another price action training lesson. We're going to be using pure price action and price action rules to help us navigate the market structure. And today's market structure started looking as a bearish trend. If I'm going to connect the first two swings and I'm going to project the possible trend line, you can see it is getting confirmed here. So the bias in this market has been established as bearish trend down, which means right now I'm expecting for price action to create new extreme because we are breaking outside of the channel. So this right here is the lowest low of this push down, which is important information for me because I'm gonna reset the count, counting four entries to sell. So the lowest low, first attempt by the sellers to sell. I'm not interested because I'm looking for high probability setup, second entry, and now we have a second entry short, but it triggered below bullish bar. As a seller, I'm only interested in selling below nice bearish bars. I cannot sell below bull bar like this. So even though it is a second entry short and the uptrend played out with the break, new extreme, which is exactly what we want to see, I cannot go short just yet. Now we have something what I would call double trap, but once again, single bar is bullish. And by the time we get this bearish bar, you know, the stop loss has to go above your initial single bar. So the entry, the entire entry is quite big. It just didn't form the clean. It is a visual two legged pullback. You want to train your eyes to spot these two legged moves and notice the short term correction played out with the break and a new extreme and EMA is providing resistance. This is a clue for you that your target is the new low. But because it forms so sketchy, I'm not gonna mark it just yet, but this is exactly where you expect good setup. Next time you have a better bar, can you get a lower high? We cannot get lower high. We have a lower high here, but it's way too far from the EMA into double bottom. You cannot go short into this. Now you have a second entry long, but you cannot go long. Why? Because the downtrend didn't fully create new extreme. And even let's say had there been new low, you cannot go long just yet. If you want to predict reversal, we're going to talk about this. You want to see reversal pattern, the confirmation that the market is going to reverse. So there is no new low, so market can create a few more pushes lower. So let's be patient. Finally, market created a new low. So I'm going to mark it. And now I'm going to observe EMA. Let's see what's going to happen. And we're breaking above EMA, important information, and quite a strong push above EMA. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw channel to the upside. because I never want to leave candles on a chart without a channel. Every single move in price action means something and there's a reason behind it. This is why we study the chart every single day so meticulously to remember and understand the price action, the language it's talking to us. Now notice I'm drawing the channel wider now, not tighter. That's by design because I'm drawing the channel tight once the downtrend is in play because I expect these pullbacks to be exactly that, just a pullback, part of a bigger trend. But because we created a break new low and the trend line rule played out, now I expect reversal, possible reversal. So I'm drawing it wider, not tight like this. So because trend line rule played out, I expect right now channel wider. You have a new low, first attempt to sell, pull back, second attempt to sell. And we actually have a felt second entry short if we have a break above this bar right here. So this would be reversal pattern, felt second entry short above EMA, two key entry points confirming the channel as well. And you can see on the way down, when the downtrend is the bias, I'm looking for second entry short to sell. When the downtrend is over, I'm no longer looking for a second entry short to sell. In fact, I can take the other side because the late sellers who don't understand the price session rules or maybe they're giving into their emotions and they're chasing the market, we're going to take the other side of their trades. It's above EMA. It's on the opposite side of the EMA. You have a second entry short reversal pattern, but the signal bar was doji. So I cannot really go long here. So no entry here. I'm going to mark it only because when you're starting the market after the fact, you really want to remember it. And this will really make a nice picture in your mind. So next time you will have better bar. You have to take the felt second entry short reversal. This time there is no entry because the single bar is straight. Doji but two key entry points. Context wise, it makes sense. So right now what's going through my mind? Well, I'm expecting right now to like a pullback at the EMA. Same thing to the downside, just vice versa. Still applying the same rules. Channel fits well. And notice what happened. We created a break and a new extreme. But notice this. After breaking new high, there is another push up, another push up, another push up. We talked about this in our previous lesson. Especially notice we haven't even touched the EMA. So normally you expect correction or reversal after new high. We didn't even break the EMA. We didn't even touch it. And we have so many pushes higher. So it makes sense right now for me to expect another channel. So I like drawing a channel like this, 
there are a lot of alternatives important it is to still keep in mind the bullish bias ema keeps pointing out we didn't even touch it bearish pullbacks are minimal so there is still bullish momentum present in the market okay now we have second entry long visual one but you know there is some small support but we're not full at the ema you're going long to these highs quite sideways you know it is off the channel but it is not full at the ema i believe this is a bit more aggressive the market is correcting and we finally touched the ema for the first time so chances are high we're gonna go higher we actually have a second entry long new high first entry long pull back second entry long but it triggered above bearish bar once again as a bull i want to buy above bullish bar so only way for me to consider this is to use double bar entry waiting for the follow-up bar to have a trigger above its high and how big is it actually not that big so if there's going to be break above this bar high i like dropping limit order a few ticks back maybe somewhere around where your initial entry would have been because you want to decrease the risk your stop loss has to go below this bar right here so you can handle it like this but how much room you have but you don't have room for two point scalp so you definitely need to use deeper limit order and market already created the new extreme now in case your limit order wasn't hit and now you're still trying to get filled you have to do cancel order now because it already created the scalp it already created new high and now the move already happened and you cannot leave your limit order in place okay so you have to cancel the order because the move already happened you missed this up there was a little gap so probably didn't fill you with the limit order that's okay and market right now created a new high so we can expect correction or reversal probably not reversal because this trend was very strong but let's see what's gonna happen i'm now drawing once again wider downtrend because we can expect right now a stronger pullback after new extreme applying the trend line rule okay i don't see any good short setup okay we have a break and the new extreme in fact it visually resembles the two-legged pullback i can see ema flattening a lot push up ema so ema flattens a lot it was pointing up break new high and market cycle what does it look like does it look like a reversal it does not break new low down chain played out two-legged pullback flat ema it looks like a consolidation train range structure so what i'm gonna do draw a possible train range let's see what's gonna happen we have a new high first entry long second entry long but the downtrend is in play i cannot go long just yet and now we have what it's called we can call this high low of the second entry long it is bouncing off the support two-legged pullback played out and you can see really acting as a train range now so because the support is holding and the market cycle is a train range I'm going to mark it as a first decent setup. Definitely not easy textbook setup, but so far there has been a few setups. So this is decent enough. The single bar is only one point because the support is holding train range buy low sell high. We traded up into it. So the support is stronger. Makes sense. No break higher above this felt second entry short. So we cannot take it. There is no break above. And now we have high low confirmation setup, but also no break above. So no triggers for these setups. These would be normal the setups you'd be expecting because market is coming off the range of lows, most likely to the top. Let's see what's gonna happen. When we draw trend down, we have another push up. Okay, price session is looking a little bit more bullish. So I'm not gonna be fading the breakout just yet. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna expand this trend range. Now there is no second entry long it didn't trigger above this bull bar but even had the second entry long triggered we can't really take it because we just broke out of the train range most breakouts will fail and because uptrend played out i would need to see high low confirmation setup above ema if i'm going to continue thinking bullish because the uptrend was quite strong it's hard to sell back into train range when we traded up into this so strongly but at the same time this is such a sad base train range that i cannot be buying just like this on a plain second entry long it didn't even trigger about pull bar so no entry but i gotta be patient there is no high low and range rules indeed one as you can see most breakouts will fail and price action keeps working lower so i'm gonna redraw right now shorten down trend and right now what am i expecting first of all i'm gonna redraw shorten uptrend this downtrend right now is breaking so it needs to get new low applying the rules turn down rule 
So I'm expecting second entry short. We have a new low first entry short. And now we have a second entry short. It is not fully at EMA, but notice what's happening here price action wise. Perfect price action. We broke lower. Most breakouts will fail at least temporarily. The downtrend is in place, so you're not thinking about buying. There's a breakout, pull back, very close to testing the support now acting as resistance. And this is behaving as a breakout pullback. Problem is, once again, I cannot sell below bullish bar. And by the time I get bearish bar, notice how low I'm selling, not even fully touching the EMA. Had this touched the EMA, it also would have touched this resistance. It would have been textbook high probability setup. Second entry short, downtrend is new low, breakout pullback, all the rules played out. But it is super aggressive like this. Unfortunately, the signal bar again today, like luster signal bars, nothing I can do. But it's important for you still to study this, understand what's happening here, because the signal bar next time you're going to be watching this, it's going to be different, it's going to be better. So you need to understand what's going on here, draw the downtrend, uptrend played out, and right now the market is reversing. And suddenly we can see the bottom is completely falling off. In fact, you can see the massive sell-off is starting. So at first, I draw a wider channel like this, and I played overshoot. We're also bouncing at the low today. That doesn't mean that you want to go long, just to keep this in mind. And because market keeps trending lower like this, you can see the structure is completely changing. And because, wow, look at the sell-off. The structure completely changed. So I'm going to use different channel because this cannot be overshoot. Okay, because this is such a strong and steep downtrend. The overshoot is not the pattern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use downtrend like this because I'm going to connect. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to connect all these swings at these highs. It fit well. I need to redraw the short term uptrend. Okay, the trend line is coming into play, which is great sign for the sellers. And now we have mini second entry short new low. First entry short, pull back, take one tick higher, reverse down, second entry short below EMA off the key entry point. This right here is a second entry short and a great high probability setup. Second entry short, two key entry points. Can we get a felt second entry long? We have a felt second entry long, but it's not fully at the EMA nor the trend line. You know, the downtrend is super strong. When you're watching this live, you know how the downtrend is strong. I can mark it more aggressive for more aggressive traders. You can see how strong the downtrend is. We cannot even break significantly above the EMA. So this is a second entry short, fall by felt second entry long. Can we get another second entry short? And you can see the market is just super bearish. We keep trending lower and market keeps trending lower. Break. I'm expecting second entry short the whole time. It didn't form and now we created new extreme. Now, this breakdown is very tiny. So the big downtrend may need big break to be considered valid either way. I'm going to consider this break in extreme. I'm going to pause looking to sell for a brief time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, okay, we're pushing up EMA. I'm going to respect the short term uptrend anyway. I would need to see felt second entry long below EMA. Okay. But because the downtrend, it was so strong and the break is so tiny, there's a chance that this significant break may be what the sellers are considering as a valid break. I was really looking for felt second entry long below EMA because when the trend down is so strong, the uptrend may not get a retest. But a felt second entry long didn't form, the second entry long worked, created push to new extreme. So automatically I'm going to project the measured move. This is where our target is. Uptrend played out with the break and the new extreme. So once we have a break at a new high, this means right now I'm back to resume looking for felt second entry short. We reached the measured move. I meant felt second entry long below EMA. Can you get a felt second entry long? We have a felt second entry long, but it's above exponential moving average. It didn't even trigger, it triggered here. But problem is the felt second entry long is still above EMA. Not really great, also part of congestion. We really expect for market to go lower because the trend down was extremely strong. Bearish bias is in play. Two-legged like pullback played out. On 10,000 tick chart, it actually formed a second entry short at the EMA. So all the time frames are connected. You can see perfect price session break new high, uptrend played out. Two legged pullback is indicating market is right now turning bearish again, but it is just way more aggressive. I don't really want to mark it. Your idea to sell is correct, but we need to see something below EMA. Okay, had there been a lower high breakout pullback, you would be interested. No lower high breakout pullback. Can we get a second entry short? We have a second entry short, new low, first entry short second entry short so finally we have 
second entry short problem is the risk here is big so very hard to five points very hard to take but it makes sense second entry short small resistance close enough to ema trend down is super strong you're gonna get the new extreme you can see it acts as this was really no significant break because brought to like a pullback your target is to get new extreme market is breaking lower you're expecting not the second entry short can you get a second entry short we cannot market created the new extreme Okay, we're correcting right now i wouldn't look for long just yet because when the downtrend is so strong you never know how many pushes lower there are going to be you know you have a second entry long but you cannot really go long you have a new high first entry long can you get a felt second entry long below ema we cannot and now it's already way too late but we can see the market actually trended way lower so this is the overall structure for today massive massive sell-off but we were way overdue for a big sell-off on a daily chart you can see this is a beauty of being intraday trader because we don't really care where the market is going even though your long-term portfolio may take a hit you're still able to make money on the way down taking small setups intraday so the first half of the day was very slow but you can see you never know when the market may wake up and offer a lot of movement so i'm gonna wrap it up i hope you had a good training day and good luck with your trading